I have always supported free speech. But with this one interview, he disrespected both Shelley, Elaine, Sharika, Ati, and every Jamaican on the planet, not to mention the entire Jamaican track and field fraternity. Disrespectful. Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for making a Peter Lloyd world. Go ahead, please hit the subscribe button so we can continue to grow. When you do that, hit the notification bell so you know when the next video drops. We have a video at least once a day here on Peter Lloyd world. Also, if you enjoy the content, please hit the like button. And finally, leave your thoughts after this sports analysis where we take a look at and we break down the races. So, are you ready? Yep. Good to go. This man is 73-year-old Victor Conti. In 2005, he was arrested for, well, PEDs, performance enhancement, drugs. Now, this gentleman, given a platform, decided to comment on Jamaica's track and field tradition. Victor Conte says he suspects that Usain Bolt and the Jamaican Olympic track team have used illegal PEDs based on the dramatic improvement in race results and stories he has heard from those close to the team. This interview, of course, debuted some time ago in 2011, but was today we posted. Usain Bolt, the world's fastest man. What do you think the likelihood is he's used illegal performance enhancing drugs? Let me put that in context. You know, Remy Corchimney is a guy that I respect greatly that I continue to work with today, and he's a very scientific guy. And he has, he has analyzed lots of Usain Bolt data. In his opinion, the most gifted sprinter that's ever lived. So do I think that he could have broken the world record without using drugs? If he has ever used drugs, the answer is probably yes. But anytime you're going from 979, you know, down to, to 58, this is, you know, a couple meters here. It's suspicious. When you compound that with the Jamaicans got gold, silver, and bronze in the female 100 meters. When was the last time that one small country won all three medals? So that's highly suspicious. And then you look at the, the other aspects and, and all these other athletes. It's all suspicious, not to target Asafa Powell or these other guys, but the former world record holder was from Jamaica. And all of a sudden, Here's these athletes that are just, bam, in the whole history. Yes, they've always had great athletes and great sprinters, but not this many. How does testing in poor countries that compete in the Olympics compared to the testing of wealthier nations? It's, it's it? easier in a small country. It's easier to do drug testing that, or that to cheat? In the specific Caribbean country that they... I must concede that when I saw this repost, all the old emotions came right back. They came flooding back and um, I was infuriated in the truest sense of the word. One of the things we try to do here, myself and the team at Peter Lloyd World, is we try to step away from our emotions. It's not always plausible, but in a situation like this, I thought it would be best to find someone else whose words were a little bit more measured, who would be able to respond to this ridiculous allegation that was a clear attempt to besmirch the reputation of persons like you say in bold Shelley and Fraser Price, living legends, Johan Blake, Elaine Thompson Harrah, Sharika Jackson, and all of that era of great athletes and those who have come bef since, because of course the insinuation was in this preposterous interview that the emergence of a Usain Bolt was, I don't know, I guess opened the floodgates to the use of PEDs by Jamaican athletes. Yes, I got very emotional. Um, I love my country people. I'm one of those persons. I love athletics. And I had to seek out someone who would respond to this absurdity. There's the start, and Bolt got a good one. And Gay's right with him, and so's Asafa Powell. Bailey's there too. But here's Bolt. Bolt charging to the front. Gay's coming, but can't catch him. Usain Bolt. Look at the top. Bolt ran 9.58 to set a new world record. The Jamaican women swept in se on several occasions at least two Olympic Games. We came first in women's 100 meters, first, second, and third. Here is the second time we did it, which was at the Tokyo 2020 Olympics. And of course, you know, we again this did the same thing at the World Championships in 2020. So I was able to find someone who was a bit more measured in their response. And like I said, 
this is an old video but it was reposted again today and i thought i should tackle it again every time this thing rears its ugly head i'm going to tackle it the person who responded at the time in 2020 was he wrote my name is anil oe roberts i am a level five senior asca wsca olympic swimming coach a former minister of sports of the republic of trinidad and tobago and i call on you graham bessinger to apologize to usain bolt the people of jamaica and all athletes and all athletes of developing world of the developing world for your malicious smear campaign disguised as an in-depth interview of course i believe that birds of a feather flock together so if victor conte is your colleague i suspect no apology whatsoever as only a human being of questionable character would attempt to pass off a convicted serial cheater as a moral ethical and sport and sporting savant you are a complete disgrace the former trinidadian minister of sports went on to state as underlying factors unscientific xenophobic and asinine anil slams con conti's cheat slurs at both and jamaican athletes Usain Bolt was subjected to the exact same stringent testing measured measures by WADA, JOC, and JADO as other international athletes. It is idiotic, small-minded, myopic, and racist to even attempt to suggest that someone, somehow an immigration officer in Jamaica, has a greater pro proclivity and ability to assist an athlete in dodging an out-of-competition test. Conti served, meaning Victor Conti served, prison time in 2005 after pleading guilty to conspiracy to distribute steroids and money laundering in an elaborate drug scheme that catered to the athletes like baseball star Barry Bonds, boxing star Shane Mosley, and track stars Marion Jones and Tim Montgomery. Now he goes on to respond, but I can't give you all of his response. Suffice it to say, you're saying bold was never ever ever found guilty of doping etc now shelly and i can't keep going down the line um i responded to this today because i know that as plato stated for a lie to become the truth you have to just repeat it for a generation and the following generation will start to believe it jamaican athletes work hard the entire um athletic division cannot be allowed. We cannot allow people to besmirch us as a nation and besmirch our athletes with this kind of garbage. This is garbage. And I am furious. Every time I see this interview, I am furious. We should stand up against this. But this, of course, is my two cents. Now, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, hit the like button. Remember your royals, kings and queens. Bless up.